Hello and welcome to day four of the Longines Royal International Horse Show at Hickstead. I am delighted to be here with this year's winner of the Dorian Williams Trophy. Uh, it's awarded to a member of the team here and it is essentially an outstanding achievement award for that person who has contributed most to the Longines Royal International Horse Show. This year's recipient is the wonderful Sue St. Pierre, um, our vet here at Hickstead for how long now? 40 years. Even though she doesn't look a day over 28. Um, so well done. We are, you are such a popular winner. We are so delighted. Tell us a little bit about what your job entails here. Um, well, basically, we're looking after all the many hundreds and hundreds of horses. Thousands. And uh, especially with the uh, big show jumpers and the FEI part of it, we have to make sure they're fit to compete. Yeah. And over those 40 years, it must have changed a lot, your job. For the better, I would imagine, because obviously horse welfare is now so much further at the front of things. Um, for you, what is the biggest challenge of keeping the balance right? Um, I think we have to just make sure that, that the horses that come into us are fit, uh, they're sound uh, and they're healthy. Uh, and nowadays they do do a lot of travelling yeah. and we have to make sure that these horses, when they arrive, some of them for two or three days they've been traveling that they are fit and we have a fantastic team here which will make sure that there are no problems. Right. I'm here with our great friend Martin Clunes um, who is here in his capacity of as president of the BHS. We know you're an avid equestrian and you've actually mm. just filmed a show yourself haven't you for HCTV? I did well I made it from really to promote the Fortune Centre of Riding Therapy which is um, a fantastic school in the New Forest where uh, it's a three-year residential course where kids who might struggle to live independently learn all kinds of skills through horses. And we are here at the pinnacle at the other yes. end of it with the elite competition. We love having you here. I've seen you just take a turn on one of the costas. Yes. Um, why, tell us why you love Hickstead. I love Hickstead because it's uh, really family friendly and I always come here with my family. It's outdoorsy. It's got the best, I mean, it's got the best of a of a country fair with that kind of warmth and intimacy but also world-class competitors and the I most like exciting that. competition and it's this is you know this and olympia are our best days of the year we paid him a fortune to say that now i'm going to let you go but thank you my darling and my i can pleasure. see people he's got another presentation too he's a very oh, busy yes, man but see you soon and thank you thanks daisy lots of love i'm here with British show jumping, well, international show jumping legend and great friend Nick Skelton. Welcome back to Hickstead. This must be quite a change for you in your jeans, not your jods. It is. I don't have to put them on anymore, fortunately. How are you finding it? How's retirement? Oh, uh, very busy, actually. Uh, I think riding was much easier. Now I have to do a lot of work at home and <laughs> riding a lot of horses and, yeah, enjoying it. You yeah. first came to Hickstead, <clears throat> he's only obviously 41, but some years ago, what um, is your first memory of Hickstead and your best memory of Hickstead? No, I've had some great memories here. I mean, I think the one, the one year maybe was 80, 1980. I think I won all three Grand Prix here in the one year. Yeah, when, from when the I, days when we used to have three or four shows just, a year. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first one I was equal first with David Broom, then I won the other two, all on the same horse. So um, I have some good memories. That can be yeah. brilliant. Well, let's hope that we make many more. Thank you for having a quick chat and really Thank enjoy you. your retirement. I know Thank we'll you. be seeing lots more of you. I'm here with Harriet Nuttall, who is a Hickstead stalwart and becoming, as we speak, more and more of a Hickstead champion, which is so brilliant. Well done yesterday. That was <laughs> exceptional. You. We're doing a roundup of the most important news of the week, and obviously <laughs> you must feature. Winner now, you can officially call yourself Queen Nuttall, winner of the Queen Second the Cup. How does it feel? Great. Um, really good. A class that I've always dreamt to win. For when I was growing up, it was a, a class that all the women, it was a, the women's class. So yep. um, for me, there's a lot of history and um, yeah, really nice to be on that cup. You, now, you've been second in the Speed Derby, you've been second in the Derby this year, but you, of course, won the Speed Derby last year. You're a Hickstead pro. How much of an advantage do you think it gives you knowing that ring so well? Do you, do you ever get nervous still going in about the ring itself yeah. or you <laughs> a good, healthy day? <laughs> um, I don't know. It helps so much because I do love Hickstead and I love the crowd and I'm really lucky I'm so well supported here. And I think that really helps. Um, I feel like it's home nearly. I come yes. in there and I'm like, thank God I'm here. I know the ground's amazing and everything's amazing. The atmosphere's great as well. So it kind of eggs you on a bit. And uh, yeah, to win and be successful here is a dream because oh. I came here when I was tiny. And yeah, and it, like I've sat in the crowd and watched the horses go around and wanted to do it and I've ended yes. up doing it. So and you know, it's possible. <laughs> At Speed Derby's under your belt. I imagine I know what the answer to this. Before I let you go, what is your kind of ultimate thing you want to achieve at Hickstead? Obviously the Derby. <laughs> Derby and the King George. Um, 
they're kind of the ones that are the titles as well. Speed Derby, Derby, King George, Queen yeah. Elizabeth Cup. All the, all the, yeah, they're all up, up there. Um, so I've got two. I'd love to have the four, but it's going to be tough. You're a wonder. <laughs> well, listen, well done yesterday. It was so brilliant. Good luck this afternoon. Thank you very and much. Keep, keep winning. Thank you. I I'm here with Pedro, whose full surname I'm going to let him pronounce, um, who was part of the historic Nations Cup winning team on Friday. First time the Brazilians have ever won. How did it feel? I um, feel amazing. Uh, it's like a dream. We can ride here in Hickstead. It's a really traditional show. So just ride here, it's a dream for us. And uh, we never imagined to win. So it's, uh, I think now we, we are in the history and we are really, really proud of that. Do you like jumping on grass? It's a yeah, unique yeah, place. Yeah, I like it. I think we, we have too much rain. So that's it's not what we that, ordered. Yeah, but, but the ground is good. It's, it's, we, we could jump. I think the, the course designer did a good job because in the second round he changed a little bit the, the sure. fences. So for us it was perfect and I think it's a really nice show. We're okay. very happy to Well, you are very welcome here and good luck this afternoon in Thank the King George. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Hello and welcome back to the Longines and Royal International Horse Show. I'm Daisy Bond with the end of our week roundup and this is the amazing Alastair Hood who is the proud winner of the 2017 Saracen Horse Supreme Horse Championship. Congratulations. How does it feel? Uh, well, thank you very much to start with, but it feels incredible. Um, uh, the horse just has never missed a beat all week in its class, in its, supreme, in its championship for its section, and then again in the Supreme. He's, he, he, he can't was, ask for more. You cannot ask for anything more. Why is showing so important, other than the competition and the passion you have for it, but in terms of the breeding of horses and the continuation of certain breeds, etc.? Yes, it is. Uh, I, I mean, it is very important, because it's, uh, and it's something for everybody to aim for when well, they first exactly. come into the sport. If they can qualify... You know, we can hear some very excited well, people in the background. And I don't blame them. What, a, a lovely a lovely little pony with a tidy little child on. And isn't on. it great when you it hear how much it means to people? Absolutely marvellous. Yeah. Listen, so, Alistair, I'm going to let you get off because there's a line well, of people who are waiting to talk to him. But congratulations and well done again and go and enjoy it. That I will. Thank you. Thank you very much.